Uh, my name is Annerike Heuvelink. That's the way you pronounce it in Dutch. In America, I often say my name is Annerike. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. I live in Utrecht. It's a small city in the center of the Netherlands. Um, I work for TNO, and TNO is the Dutch Institute for Applied Research. Um, my background is artificial intelligence. I actually studied that as a bachelor and a master and a PhD. And after finishing my PhD at TNO, together with the uh, Free University in Amsterdam, I um, started working as a research scientist since 2009. Uh, within TNO, I focus on two main areas. I've been working on serious games, so that are games that are used for a different purpose than just pure fun. So, for example, to train or to educate people, or I'll talk more about it later in this case, also maybe to have people physical activities, so have them exercise. Uh, the second thing I've been working on is uh, models of human behavior and how you can implement that in a computer system. So think about a virtual avatar that might help you in doing your task. So how did I end up here in America? Well, it's a big story, but I try to make it short. Um, so working at TNO, this is Institute for Applied Research, we work on many different areas. Um, and me personally, I work within the behavioral and societal sciences area and in the human factors department. So really what we do is looking at systems, man machine systems, how you can uh, help people with technology. Um, on the other hand, on the other end of the world, of course, Mayo Clinic works on helping people age healthy, amongst others. And within Mayo Clinic, they had a new initiative, Healthy Aging and Independent Living. The Dutch philanthropist Paul Baan uh, has the Nobel Foundation. And within the Nobel Foundation, they have um, a network organization called Vita Valley. And they try to connect all different partners who work on healthy aging. When Vita Valley heard about this new initiative, Healthy Aging and Independent Living, they made the connection with TNO. Because they thought, TNO is doing interesting things on healthy aging, Mayo Clinic does interesting things, we might learn from each other. So the plan was, we want to cooperate. But how do you do that? There is an ocean between the Netherlands and America. So it's not that easy. So they thought like, well, the best way to operate together is to have a project together, and maybe we can send somebody over to do this research. TNO had this uh, email to all the uh, people working there, that's almost 4,000 people, saying we've got this opportunity to go to America for one year, you're going to work at the Mayo Clinic and you can do something innovative for healthy aging. And that was it. No more details. Whatever you want. So I saw that I was like, wow, that's a big opportunity. So I choose to uh, apply for this job. And within my application I noticed, I mentioned things about serious gaming, and in particular extra gaming for the elderly, so you can use games to be physically active. And uh, after a Skype call with the Center of Innovation, uh, meeting Nick and the team here, um, well, I was selected. The first thing I noticed to the Mayo Clinic, and I still notice it every day, is I work at the Gondor building, and when you come in the Gondor building in the morning, often the light shines very nicely through the big, big windows, and then often there's music playing, because people are allowed to play on this big, nice piano. And it's lovely, and every time I feel like, I don't feel like I'm getting into some hospital or a, a medical environment at all, it's a nice place to be. And I think that's really great that you are able to create that atmosphere. I found the most uh, interesting aspect about America is that you still have checks. I mean, to me, the banking system it seems a bit old-fashioned. I've been trying two checks in my lifetime, namely one last month and the one month before. Uh, the first time I had to go online, I looked at YouTube and I said, how do I write a check? Because there are so many boxes and I want to make sure I did it right, because it was the rent. And if you wouldn't pay the rent on time, of course, you would have to pay more money. So thanks for watching this video blog. I'm very excited that this is a way to connect to many people and tell me about tell you about my experiences and maybe uh, we can learn from each other. So looking forward to talk to you next time.